Okay, we're trying this again. I don't have that much time, so I'm gonna just get into it. Uh, the people you see there, the girl sitting in the chair, her name is Abby, and the guy standing next to her is Laramie. And I'll just read Laramie's, um, bio now. The thing I wrote for him is biography, whatever, you know what I mean. So, this is Laramie. He's named after Lars from Steven Universe and kind of inspired by Tom from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. He's a fire demon that came to Earth to torment humans, but surprise, surprise, after only three days of being there, he came upon a very cute space god. That's Abby. Oof, I need to read Abby's before I can read Laramie's. Whatever, I'm gonna just tell you. Abby has three eyes, and she spells her name A-B-B-I-I. -I. Uh, so she can make a joke. She says, Abby, hi, I'm Abby with an extra eye. That comes in handy. Just be patient. And I'm rattling through this one because I took too long in the last time I recorded this. Um, that just so happened to be it. He immediately develops a Mondo crush on her. He relates to her on a different level because they both have extra eyes. Also, he loathed backslash loves, currently, her Abby with an extra eye joke. He actually didn't get it at first, but then she spelled her name for him, and he ended up having to actually sit and take a breather because he was laughing too hard. He was, of course, laughing at his own stupidity, and she, she basically was like, Dude, it's fine, I spelled my name weird solely for the purpose of being able to make that joke. To which he responded, I like it, my name is Laramie. There will be a full story. Also, I need a title. C title. Yep. Title for the story. So help. So he loves puns and bad jokes and overall being a nuisance to people. But he has a lot of friends. But there's not a lot to him. That's his backstory. He doesn't have parents because he's a demon. But he's bad at it. He's bad at. Oh, he's bad at being a demon. I wanted this really bad, I'm sorry. I'm leaving this off or something. Um, but he's he's bad at being a demon. So he just testers people like jokingly, I guess. He like tries, but people are just like, aw, that was cute. He's he's trying to be feisty. But he's uh I'll give you his actual age in a sec. He's not also he's bad at it, so he just kinda testers people. He isn't dead inside. He obviously has feelings. He's bad at being a demon, like I said. He helps people most of the time. Got a bully? There we will be there to scare the crap out of him for you. Just don't piss him off because he will set you on fire. Yeah. Or not even, like, not even specifically you. He'll set something you love on fire, which is worse. And that loops back around to Tom. Because I saw a that. I'm sorry. But yes, Laramie is a good person who will do anything to protect his friends. Yeah, that's Laramie's story. And now I'm just going to get into some stuff about Laramie. He is... How tall is he? He is 5'10". He is a... He is a he. Duh. He looks 15, but is actually 4,523. I don't know why we're being so specific, but it was. And now, yeah. Did I remember to give him horns? I have a feeling I forgot to give him his horn. I think I forgot to give Laramie his horn. He has little horns. If I remember to give him his horn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but now it's Abby's turn. Go away, Abby. So, I'll just read kind of Abby's bio now. So, <laughs> Abby has a crush on Laramie, who in turn has a crush on her also. She's not supposed to be so small. Dang it, I did this the first time I recorded. I can read the stuff about space gods first. Because that's what Abby is. She's a space god. So, uh, space gods were around before the universe was a thing, and Abby was not the first and was born, air quotes, when the universe was created. Also, space guards aren't born, they're just made out of something. One day, they just appear, and then they're there, and that's it. Abby just happened to appear too small, and right when the Big Bang happened. This means she appeared too soon. It's like, the Big Bang happened, and then she came to existence like, Whoa, I'm 
not supposed to be here yet. I was just chilling, being made. And now I'm here. Well, okay, I'm cool with being too small. Cool. I'm unique. She's very bubbly, but she also has, like, moderate anxiety. <laughs> and it's just so much worse in social situations, and you'll see for a reason. People don't socialize or talk to each other where she lives. Live. Duh. I'll get to that, too. Where she lives, but she's super social with any, everyone anyway. And that kind of messed her up on Earth, because people were a lot more social, and she's used to kind of being ignored and blown off so she like goes up to people and they just kind of talk to her and she's like i've never gotten this far so social anxiety she wears her hair in a ponytail when it's not down and she's also not supposed to have three eyes yep that's that's some about space gods and a little bit about abby now back to the stuff about abby herself so Abby has a crush on Larry, who in turn has a crush on her also. She's not supposed to be as small as she is, but she doesn't really care about her height, and neither does Larry. He finds her super adorable. Let's get back on track. The reason she's on Earth is she likes to pay attention to what goes on on Earth, because most of the time, gods, the gods, like the space gods, they don't really care about what's going on on Earth. They just kind of like, oh, yeah, humans, animals, whatever. But she, she just thought, like, I wonder if I could hang out there. Like, I bet they're pretty social. And she, <laughs> she was like, I bet they're pretty social. And then she went down there and just, this, she like got down there and people actually responded. She's like, this is too much to handle. I can't take it. <laughs> She's gonna have like. Um, the first time she talked to anyone, she had like a mental breakdown. <laughs> and the person was kind of like, okay. And we just walked away. They were just so confused. Especially with three eyes. Uh, part of me wants to tell the whole story of how Laramie and Abby met, but I'll save that story for another time. If you want to hear it, I can like actually good drawing of it. I'll try. I'll try so hard. I try already, but this was kind of just a sketch I was messing around with. Um, so she made a lot of friends on Earth, but she was there. She made a lot of friends, but none really, like, you know, stuck. She made a lot of friends, and then, like, she, she didn't make any, like, real friends till she met Laramie. And that's where I am now. She was there for like four years before she met her current friends, the main characters, and that's it to her backstory. And her current friends consist of Laramie, Zach, Joan, um, I can't remember her name. There's Rue, and Casey. And that's her current friend. So, uh, oh, sorry. 3.42 p.m. She existed for a, quote, crap ton of years where she was created, but not a lot happened over those years, so she went to Earth. And that's, that's it to her backstory. Oh, but I was telling you some other stuff about Abby. Uh, so, as you know, she's shorter than the average space god. She has galaxy hair, as you can see. But, so, like I said, she spells her name A-B-B-I-I, -I, so she spells it with two eyes, so she can say, I'm Abby, with an extra eye, and point to her third eye. She is 5'4". She doesn't have a gender, but she uses she, her pronouns, duh. She is as old as the universe, but she only looks 14. Uh, yeah. And, like... Like, her head stops where it, the average space god, like, right where their hips begin. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a bean, and I love her, and she's basically just me. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it for stuff about space gods. Laramie's a fire demon.
watching please like comment and subscribe i don't know why i'm saying that i'm turning into rebecca perum also subscribe to rebecca perum okay bye